Your name? Helen Garner. And your occupation? Project manager. And your specialist subject? The films of Tom Cruise. The prolific Hollywood actor known for the Mission Impossible films, among many others. In two minutes, starting now, in Risky Business, Cruise's character, Joel Goodson, sits an interview to study business at which Ivy League university? Princeton. Yes, Cruise received his first Oscar nomination for his role in the 1989 film Born on the Fourth of July, playing which paraplegic anti-war activist? Ron Kovic. Yes, in Mission Impossible, the IMF agent Ethan Hunt infiltrates the American embassy in Prague by impersonating John Walzer, a Democratic senator from which US state? Virginia. Yes, in Top Gun, the call sign of Cruise's character is Maverick. What's the call sign of the commanding officer of the Top Gun Academy, played by Tom Skerritt? Viper. Yes, in Rain Man, as part of his bedtime routine, Raymond Babbitt, played by Dustin Hoffman, drinks apple juice and eats 12 of what snack items? Cheese balls. Yes, in Vanilla Sky, the publisher David Ames recalls a line in his father's book which says that the answer to 99 out of 100 questions is what? Money. Yes, in Minority Report, what's the name of the doctor whose research led to the creation of the pre-crime programme? Iris Hinneman. Yes. In A Few Good Men, one of the accused Marines, Lance Corporal Dawson, tells his lawyer, Daniel Caffey, that the Cuban sentries who surround Guantanamo are known by what term? Pass. Cruz received his second Oscar nomination for Jerry Maguire, in which the title character tells his prospective date, Dorothy Boyd, that her outfit is more than a dress. It's a movie with which actress? Audrey Hepburn. Yes, in a conversation in Collateral between the club owner, Daniel, and Cruz's character, Vincent, Daniel says that which jazz musician once played there and describes him as the coolest man on the planet? Miles Davis. Yes, in Cocktail, Jerry's Deli, where Jordan Mooney works as a waitress, is described by Cruz's character, Brian Flanagan, as the home of the famous cement what? Danish. Yes, in Jack Reacher, Cruz's title character visits a gun club where he suspects the alleged sniper practised. What's the name of the gun club? Hinge Creek. Yes, which Oscar-winning writer and director wrote the screenplays for both Jack Reacher and Edge of Tomorrow? Uh, uh, Christopher McQuarrie. Yes, in Days of Thunder, the crew chief, Harry Hogg, tells Claire, the neurosurgeon, played by Nicole Kidman, that racing drivers like Cole Trickle don't go to hospitals and they don't go to what events? Funerals. Yes, they don't go to funerals. Helen, you had just one pass in A Few Good Men. The Cuban sentries who surround Guantanamo are known as mirrors. And at the end of that round, Helen, you've got 13 points.